Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael. Now in this episode we're going to look at a couple um, things and this this is the 11th episode of Three Towers. This is the first Let's Play series on our channel. And as you can see, just kind of going over some things that have been built, but there has now been a food court that I built right here. And I will say this food court does not have an interior. It is purely more just decorational. And that's just trying to save peace count. Also, to be honest, getting a little lazy with it and trying to figure out, okay, what could look nice right here? And so I kind of bordered the path with the kind of purplish blue color that I have kind of representing the, the awnings, basically. And one thing that I did, which I love how this kind of looks and turned out, was I used balcony support pieces for, for this... Um, this kind of this curve a little bit and then here I use the balcony support pieces because it gives you a, a it, it's a nice look to it so it's got like that nice gray but it's different texture than some of the other things provided and so I just honestly I absolutely love how this looks walking up this way and you see the flying coaster in that first hill and then on this side you've got your boomerang coaster and so this is just such a really nice look in my opinion i've still got place benches and all that other stuff but yeah so here is the food court now even though there's not an interior it still is accessible for the guest and so I try to place these double doors and if you walk in here there's some stalls there um, i need to add a couple over here for the burgers and i placed men and women's bathrooms here and here so they essentially just walk through the door um, and then over here where it says milkshakes I placed a couple drinks stalls as well like coffee marshmallow I think I put milkshakes oh maybe not oh well um, I could go change that but yeah and so it kind of connects nicely with this area right here and has a really nice backdrop to the flying coaster and, you know, I still got to put in some of my realism stuff on there. And this area will kind of have a, um, I'm going to kind of connect this over this way. So it'll have a back portion where there's going to be some realism stuff, you know, trash cans, staff doors to go to our back and stuff like that. And then I haven't really done much with this, but this is kind of, I'm just going to have like an office building for employees. So I'm trying to get the basic layout of how I want it to look and where I want it to be placed. Since this is the staff parking lot, I wanted a, just a one-story office building to be there. So something that's not necessarily visible or viewable from the public that much. And so what I might do is continue this planter, continue it this way to kind of hide this area from guest point of view as they're walking in. Because it wouldn't really be realistic that the guests could look in and see it. Even though they really can't actually now that I think about it. Because they're not taller than this fence. So... I might not do anything there. It's just a lot of times when we look at it from a different point of view, we're not looking at it from the guest point of view, right? Um, and then kind of started too with what I want the basic warehouse design to look like. And I'm just basically going to copy these like three or four times. I'm not going to do anything too fancy with this just for a sake of piece count and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's this. And I think it looks, I mean, when you have that coaster coming up the lift hill, let's see. There we go. I think that looks super nice as you're walking down this way. You see the coaster go down that first hill. And then you also get good visuals of the pretzel loop. Like I just love how that pretzel loop turned out right there. It just looks really good. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there's still a lot of little things to do. One other thing I did here, based off some suggestions from some people, um, and I said, I told you guys the reason before why I have this grass out here. It's just so I could connect paths and so forth. Um, so this area right here is pretty much done. I added in some more trees and some planters. And the reason I did that, which I left a little, little opening here for a gate, is to kind of cover up that, um, to kind of cover up the back of house or maintenance area from guest view. Uh, and back up this warehouse. So I still got some things to do there. And I added, 
I think I showed you guys this last week, this maintenance, maintenance stairs. So yeah, I like how this has turned out. Now the one other new thing I do need to show you guys, or I'm excited to show you guys, and for anybody who's on the Discord um, or PlayStation um, group, you might have seen pictures that I've shown, but I tried to recreate, and I don't know why when you're too far away the sign kind of shows differently, but recreate the SNS Batman free spin ride. And the sign is created by Boz Mid Slayer. So, I mean, just such an amazing job. So, if you look at this piece, I mean, so I, I moved it on the front and back. So, that one's got 100. But if you click on this, all right, so that's a circle. Let's not click on that one. So, you got an uh, arch, another arch. And so, essentially, everything's just layered. I mean, this is amazing. I think I asked Boz, um, I meant, um, yeah, I asked Boz, do you, uh, you know, would he be able to try to make this sign? And within a couple hours, he had it made. And so I custom supported it, and I did it to the best that, in my opinion, the best that I could compared to the actual coaster. And so look up a picture of the coaster if you want to see um, what it looks like. But... The actual coaster in real life actually uses RMC track and it's above the track instead of below it at first. And so as you can kind of see it's as it's oops, as it spins. I mean that is just crazy. Um, going on one of these in real life was pretty pretty intense. Honestly the most intense coaster I've been on. And so I've got the dual loading station. Um, I'm gonna have some kind of building that it walks through. It kind of comes around here, but this is kind of in real life it's not necessarily the whole area is cement, but a lot of the area is cement, and it's got just a basic, basic station, which we'll get to in a second. Um, probably on the next episode, hopefully. But yeah, so I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts and opinions about this. This was created by Celium. Um, I'm definitely going to place it somewhere. I don't know exactly where yet. Um, and obviously I'm going to call this one Batman, since it's a recreation. But I use the same method that I used with these coasters over here. So even though it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five coasters in the park, I've actually got seven at this point because of having two, using two coaster track for this one along with the flying coaster. So let's go ahead and ride this coaster twice because you need to see that each one is different. And so instead of doing front bumper, we're gonna do chase mode just because of how um, yeah, you'll see why. You don't want to watch this in first-person mode because you're spending way too much. Alright, so that one's a little bit more tame because it didn't flip as much, I believe. Because one of these was a little bit not quite as tame because I did create them differently. Um, so let's see. I think there's a different view that we can watch this one on that would be better. So let's see. Guest view. I'm trying to think. What are the different modes? Yeah, guest facing view. Sorry, this one would be the best one. All right, so totally messed up with that camera there. Yeah, honestly, I don't really even know which camera is the best to look at this on. It's almost better just to kind of watch it this way so you can kind of see what happens with the guests there. But these are extremely tough to work with. Um, some aspects I think I did well. Some aspects I could be improved upon. Um, but the spinning is extremely, extremely tough to try to work out. And I did have to put a couple of trims at a couple of moments on the ride just to keep the G-forces under control. Um, is if you look at 
the coaster, it's almost all green. But the G-forces, if you look at the results, so 4.2 Gs for vertical. Essentially no lateral Gs because it doesn't turn at all. Um, yes, yeah, so let's see. So if we look at these, I think both of these are very, very similar. Yeah, so 6.2A, 496. 606 497 yeah so they're they're just a little bit a little bit different and that has to do with the spinning aspect and stuff but yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions um i think this park is coming together well i will say there are a few more coasters that i am going to put in the park because i am going to use the exploits i obviously need to utilize a lot of this area because if we're looking at this now and seeing 84 percent, i mean there's a there's a fair amount that needs to get done so i might be might be a little too ambitious with what I'm trying to get done in this park, but we'll see. Um, so I really appreciate all the support um, that you guys constantly show Jasmine and I and show our channel. And as always, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoy the content and you're not subscribed, continue or consider subscribing so that you can stay up to date with the content we release. And what do you guys think about this food court? What do you think about the Batman recreation? Um... Is there maybe a type of coaster that you think might fit well in this park for the one of the last couple of coasters? I will tell you, I've got a wooden coaster in mind and um, a Gerslauer. Um, so what do you guys think? What, what would maybe fit well? And, you know, I'm thinking more kind of back in back in this area. OK, um, yeah, so I really appreciate it. And. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.